Hey YouTube, good to see you again. Adam here, coming to you from the woodshed again. For this final video in our series in January. It is a, a very cold, <laughs> uh, it is a very cold uh, night here in the woodshed, which is not heated, except for this little heater not insulated. It's about uh, eight or nine degrees Fahrenheit. So trying to keep warm, got the heater on full, uh, got some old dark fired in my Midwest Briar here. Loving it. In fact, the last of the old dark fire that I have from Hobbit and Piper. Thank you, Kevin, again. Isn't this a great looking pipe? Beautiful. Midwest Briar on Instagram, you guys. I don't get anything for it, um, and they're sort of infrequent, but if you can get one, you can do a lot, lot worse. And incredible value as well. So, this is our recap video um, for the month. So. I'll give you um, a quick run through of uh, the three videos that we did uh, this month. The first one was a review, and all sorts of tins here. Uh, the first was a review of Matt Baron Symphony. This is the blend. Uh, this is the blend of the month, and I got to give it a thumbs down, you guys. Um, I've, I've talked about this in other videos, but. It just didn't didn't work for me. I don't know if it was this particular tin. It was pretty dry. It kind of smelled like vegetables. Um, I was kind of disappointed because I was looking forward to, to really enjoying this as I do other McBaron blends, but not for me. So that's a thumbs down for me on McBaron Symphony. Although I will say, if anybody wants this tin, I'm not going to smoke it. So first come, first serve. Put it in the comment below. So first video of the month was a review, uh, and after having smoked it, um, I've, I've, I know I'm not going to buy it again. Second video of the month was um, a story. I told you all about one of my favorite authors, Brian Jakes, um, who is an English author, was an English author, who wrote the Redwall series of books, uh, which is 22 books um, all about woodland creatures in amazing fantasy scenarios and stories. Really, really great uh, books, both for adults, but also really good for uh, bedtime reading for kids. Um, and the books are cheap. If you go to like thriftbooks.com, um, which is like an online consignment for books, um, you can get them for just a couple of dollars. All of mine, I bought the, the whole series in hardcover and they were only like four or five bucks a piece. Um, so really well worth it if you, if you have kids or if you're interested in committing to a, a series long term. And in um, last week's video, I talked about guilty pleasures, guilty pleasures, and why we shouldn't be afraid to like the things that we like. And I was really amazed at the response from that. A lot of really, uh, really thoughtful comments. Um, so thank all of you who um, who watched, but especially those of you who commented. Um, really good conversation in the comment section on that video. If you want to go back and, and check it out. So for this video, um, here at the end of the month, um, since we're coming into a, a new year, we, we kind of were wrapping up the, the first month of the new year, I thought that it would be fun um, to start something that I'd like to do every year, which is at the end of January, um, give you uh, a view on 
a review of uh, the seller that I that I have. It's it's very very modest, um, and um, you'll see here just in a second that um, it doesn't contain a lot. Um, you know, I have money and space limitations, um, but I thought that it would be fun to kind of keep this as an ongoing thing every year, so that you as viewers can kind of see it grow and um, make suggestions. Um, so. Um, Let's just get right to it. Um, here's a video that I shot in the house, um, and uh, let me know what you think. And I'm, I pose a couple of questions, so be sure to answer those in the comments below. See ya when we get back. Okay, YouTube. Here we are. We are uh, here back in the house, in the uh, in the office here where I do the day job. Just wanted to flaunt about this awesome painting on the wall here poster. Uh, anyway, so as I just said uh, at the beginning of this video, at the beginning of every year, at the end of January, I want to give you an idea of what I have in my cellar. Um, it's super modest. Um, I don't have a lot of money to buy a ton of stuff or really a lot of space. Um, so what I've committed to, oh, there's Charlie boy. Uh, what I've committed to is a cellar that can fit into one bin and then one set of jars. So 12 jars. Hey, big boy. Um, and there's a, a variety of things uh, here, and I just wanted to, to go through it. Um, just for reference, all of this fills up about half of that bin if I uh, pack it creatively. Um, and so just thought I'd, I'd give you an idea of what's in the cellar at the beginning of 2022. Um, so first of all, uh, let's do the jars. We can get those out of the way. Uh, and I'm going to kind of do this and uh, put them away. Uh, so Carter Hall I have in a jar. And then I also have uh, a sealed tub of. Um, the reason that I have both is that I opened one. I bought two in, there you go. Um, and I used one to make some Squirrel Hunter, which you see here. Uh, and I had some left over. Speaking of, uh, this is Squirrel Hunter. This is a full jar. Um, and I have another jar in uh out in the woodshed where i do my regular videos um 50 carter hall 50 percent maple walnut from sutliff although i will say that using maple street much better uh you really get that toasted marshmallow flavor um anyway so there's carter hall and that is uh just a sealed tub uh the last couple of jars um i have some loose cut vanilla cream that i bought in bulk it, there seems to be a bit of a difference between the bulk and what you get in tins, um, but I like it all. Um, so that's that. And then this is Dart Twist. Normally, I like to do uh, my reviews uh, fresh from the tin, but I honestly, I couldn't wait to smell it. So uh, this is the uh, the blend that I'll be smoking uh, all in February, and it smells fantastic. So I just jarred it. Um, okay, so next is all of the rest of the McBaron vanilla cream. Um, and so I've got, what do we got? Four tins, one, two, three, four, five tins of uh, vanilla flake here. Um, and I actually haven't smoked the flake variety, um, but uh, London LCS, in fact, um, kind of put me onto it. So um, I'll give that a try. Well, uh, one note while uh, while we're here, I seal all of my tins with electrical tape. Um, it's cheaper than the film stuff that I can't remember the name of, um, and it does just as good of a job. Um, and you can take it off, put it back on, and it's very, very inexpensive. So, um, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six tins of loose cut vanilla cream. Um, now, I know that there will be those of you who say, Adam, what are you doing? You don't need to cellar or age aromatics and to that i would say yeah i know but um I, there does seem to be a taste difference between um older tins and newer tins and frankly i just every time i buy something i throw in a tin um okay um this is officer's club um this is my favorite rum blend as i said in a video sometime earlier in the year i've got four tins of that and um just gonna keep buying it up uh as i can a couple random tins of peterson here irish oc sweet corn this was 
I went to a shop and they had a discount section and these were in there. Um, so that goes in there. Um, so what do we have next? Uh, crumble cake number two. I'd love to get the full series, but number one is, I don't know, you just can't get it anywhere. Uh, and I don't have number three, but I bought a couple of tins of this just to get that collection going. Um, I also have three tins of Presbyterian mixture. Um, I think that I will like this because it is basically what my local tobacconist makes, and he calls it English Pride. This, I think, is going to be a good um, English for somebody who doesn't like Englishes, um, and I'm not a huge fan. Um, of course, we have some Orlick Golden Sliced, uh, and you'll note that I put the month and the year on all of these. That's just to give me an idea. Uh, I put it on the top and the bottom. I got these big tins on a holiday sale. In fact, a lot of this was a holiday sale, um, but I've never actually had uh, Orlick Golden Sliced, but because people speak of it so highly, it's something that I'm definitely going to sell her a lot of as I'm able. And that goes like this, I think. McBaron Navy Flake, uh, this was just a sale, um, but I am going to try to get through um, what, November 2020. Uh, I am going to try to get through a lot of the McBaron blends this year, and, um, and that's one that I'm looking forward to in April. This uh, came with, I bought a, my first Peterson I bought during a sale and you got a free thing. Um, N.W. Piper has a, has a real kind of funny video about his opinion of the naming of these. Um, I think his is, Snow Day is the one that he got. Um, and here I'm doing an experiment. This is, I took some Anatolian, which is one of my blends, and I, I packed it as tight as possible. Um, I, there's no air in there at all. I mean, I really, really packed it in as, as tight as I could get it. Um, and even getting the lid on was kind of tricky. Um, but I'm going to leave it in here for two years. So in September of 2023, I'm going to open it up and see what it does. I love this blend, Anatolian. Um, I've sent it to a couple of folks in the YTPC who have said that they've enjoyed it, um, you know, which is, is great. Um, so I'm interested to see what a couple years of being tightly packed does to it. Um, then I have, um, some St. Bruno. Um, this is something that you couldn't get for a long time and, and now you can, um, never had it, but I picked up two tins and two pouches. Um, and while I'm here, I think I've showed this before, uh, on Instagram, but the way that I do pouches, uh, people, I have heard it said that you can't keep in pouches cause they're not airtight They're whatever. Um, but you totally can. I have a vacuum sealer, just a food saver thing um, that I use for venison and other stuff. And you can just cut the bag to the right size, vacuum seal it, and then I just tape it closed once it's sealed. Um, I mean, tape the flaps down. And it's perfectly fine. That's airtight. It's not going anywhere. Um, and really, really convenient, as you can see. I do it on uh, all sorts of things. So uh, a couple of things, uh, a couple pouches of St. Bruno to go with the tins. And last but not least, half and half, um, this is just something where pouches were on sale, but the cans weren't on sale. And so when somebody is selling you pouches for $3 of half and half, you buy, well, I bought five because why not? It's 15 bucks and, um, half and half is always going to be something that I am able to enjoy. So uh, that's the whole thing. It, um, it all fits in here, like I said, and I've got room for growth. Um, so if there are blends in here that you think I should have, um, having seen my videos and sort of knowing what I like, let me know. Uh, there's plenty of room in here. And I still have eight jars that are completely empty for bulk. So here's what I want recommendations for. I want some Boswell's blends, uh, maybe a couple of Country Squire blends, and then other blends that you think um, are good that I can buy in bulk to fill up these jars. The goal this year is to fill up all eight of these jars um, and add, inevitably, I'll add some stuff to here as well. This thing of Carter Hall is going to go over here because I'm going to make a couple more jars of Squirrel Hunter because it really is my favorite blend that I make. Um, and I've got a few more home blends in the works using Old Dark Fired and, um, and some other stuff. But that will be for another video.
All right, let's head back to the woodshed. Well, and there you go. There is the cellar. Um, this is really stuff that I have been buying since, um, I'd say probably August of 2021. And a lot of it in there, you'll note, because uh, I write the, the months, uh, a lot of it's November and December of, of this past year of, of 2021. I, I, really the only time that I've been uh, making a concerted effort to look at the holiday sales and, and pick stuff up for for my seller. Um, so I hope that that was enjoyable to you. Um, and I hope that um, you make some comments, make some suggestions, um, especially for those those bulk jars. Uh, that's something that I'm uh, kind of drawing a blank on. Um, so if there's something that you think I should include in my cellar, in the comments below, tell me what it is and why you think I should add it. Um, and you can look through my past videos and see what types of uh, blends that I like and that sort of stuff, but don't be afraid to suggest some things that you think might expand my boundaries and kind of challenge my palette a little bit. Definitely open to that as well. And last but not least, this is a reminder um, that today, today is your last day to get in on the giveaway. So if you haven't done that yet, uh, go back and watch that video. I'll link it below and make sure that you are subscribed and that you answer the questions in the comments on that particular video, not on this one, on that video. And I'll be sure to get you in. Um, I'm going to do the drawing and, um, and tell you what is in the giveaway in the next video. Um, all right, guys, that'll do it for this video. Um, hope that it was enjoyable to you, and I will see you on the next one in February. Bye, guys.